Morning, everybody. Welcome back. Simply snuff time. Thanks for joining me. Feeling a bit better today. I had my tooth pulled out on Monday. Honestly, it was horrendous. He took it out with a flathead screwdriver and a pair of pliers. It looked like the screwdriver had come from the hardware store. He couldn't get it out. He kept having a go and then he had to get one of his mates to come in and hold my head still so he could get it. I got it out in the end. <laughs> I came out to the surgery, I felt, oh my, it's taken me three days to recover. But I think it's my age. I said, I said to Mrs M, you know, if I'd been 30 years younger, I probably wouldn't have battered an eyelid and I'd have probably just got on with it. But anyway, I'm not 30 years younger, so. So anyway, yeah, we've got this, the original. It is a Schmalzler, uh, Schmalzler Franzl. Um, and it's a double fermented snuff. I think it's, it says original on the tin, and I think it might be their original Schmalzler. I think so. Uh, it's double fermented, and I think double fermented brings on the, the scents and the aromas and the flavours of the snuff, and really enhances the whole package. I got it from Mr Snuff, I bought it from Mr Snuff. Uh, it's in a 10 gram tin, and it cost £4.35. Um, it's in the dreaded tap tin, but I'm not right fussed, to be honest, with this type of uh, snuff. It's all about what's in the uh, in the snuff tin, and you know I don't like I don't like tap tins, but I'm not going to focus on that. I'm going to focus on the snuff because I think we might have something a little bit special here. I I have tried it. I've had a little bump on it. I thought I'd have a little go because I wanted to do it justice and I wanted to make sure that I did a decent review and uh, you all knew what I was talking about and what the snuff was all about. So yeah, it's the original Schmalzer Franzl. It's ten grand tin. £4.35 comes from Mr. Snuff. Let's give it a go. You can, it's heavy. In the tin, you can tell it's heavy. So, you know, that gives you a bit of a clue. Let's have a smell out the tin. Ooh, that's bold. It smells old, like old furniture and old leather, and you can smell a bit of dried fruit and stuff like that drifting through. Again, it's not one for the faint-hearted. I think it's going to be a fairly bold snuff, this one. But, yeah, smells lovely. Yeah, bit of old leather, old furniture, bit of bark, trees, you know, autumn, winter, that type of stuff. Let's get a, a little bit bump out, and let's see if we can show you what it's all about. It's fluffy. We got it? It's fluffy. It's very dark. You get a bit of sweetness coming off it, a honey tight sweetness. I don't believe there's any menthol in it, and if there is, it's well merged in there. It's not it's not obvious to me. Maybe there is, maybe there isn't, but I, I wouldn't call this a menthol snuff far from it. I'd, I'd, I, for me, that's got no menthol in it, let's be clear. Let's let's not mess about. It smells quite spe special. You get the dried fruits. Bit of dates, prunes, stuff like that. You get all that wholesomeness, that deep yeah, raisins, currants, all of that type of stuff. Front of the nose, pinches beautifully. I don't want this all over the house, Mrs. M complaining. It's enough to put up with. We aren't messing all the house up, aren't you? Poor lass. She's gone out with my granddaughter and my daughter today shopping. What a surprise. Shopping. Where are you going, love? Shopping. All right. Yeah, she was shopping yesterday. Had a load of stuff turned up from Amazon yesterday. Honestly. I'm gonna have to... That's the cat, by the way. I'm going to have to sell the house and move somewhere bigger. We can't get all the stuff in it, all the shopping in it. Anyway, this is my life. Don't worry about it. <laughs> anyway, it's quite special, this stuff. It's a great autumn winter snuff. That's what it is. Get this up your hooter when you're outside and you're having a walk. and Or you're on the beach. I mean, Whitby on the beach. Dogs are running round. Absolutely. Perfect. Oh. It's a top banana for me, this. It's a top banana. You get that. You know where the double centred uh, fermented. It's, it's really bold. It's punchy, bold. Confident. It's a, you know, it's confident. It's not messing about. It just lets you have it straight up front. There you are. This is what I'm all about. Like it. 
lump it, don't matter, I like it. Absolutely. Woo, delightful, but it's very complex. It's got a lot of aromas, a lot of scents going on in there. Tobaccos or the, you know, the base flower is absolutely to die for. It's fantastic. I wouldn't say that's overloaded with vitamin N. I'd say it's probably medium on their vitamin N. I'm not, I'm not getting that. Whoa, it could be, could be, could be. It's, uh, yeah, it, it, it's good. Pretty good. I like it. Stays in the nose. It's drifting around. You get all these little scents. You get the dried fruits coming through. You know, you get that base flower kicking around. Oh, man, absolutely delightful. Oh, you know, and as I say that, Oldy worldy traditional leather wood bark. Yeah, absolutely delightful. Oh it's what we call deeply dippy. That's what it is. Deeply dippy. Oh it's a bit of nutmeg or something like that, isn't it? Oh man. Oh Oh, it's a, honestly, I've hit a rich vein of snuffs in recent times. I have to give this top banana. As I say, I've already taken it. I've already been bumping on it uh, uh, yesterday. So I've got an idea of what it's all about. And I absolutely love it. I can feel it in my nose now. It's absolutely just sitting there. You're getting that so It's not like a stinging... It's not like that burn you get with a menthol or eucalyptus, but it's a burn all the same. And it really sits in your nose. And the scents do not let go. You get all of that scent and it keeps it keeps on giving. It just keeps on giving. It's not up there and then it disappears. It hangs around. And then you get a bit of the sweetness. You get a bit of the, the dried fruit. You get a bit of the dates, the raisins. You know, a bit of plumminess. You get a little bit of nutmeg, I think, or something kicking around it. A little nutty scent, which is absolutely fantastic. Oh, I don't know what else to tell you about it. It's a delight, an absolute delight. I couldn't help but give this a top banana. Maybe all my snuffs are going to be top bananas now. I don't know, but I tell you, I'm proper liking this one. I proper like it. It's lovely. Oh, Gordon Bennett. Oh, oh mate. You've got to try this. You've got to try it. It's an absolute delight. Absolute delight. There's enough moisture in it. It's a coarse, coarse, medium, coarse grind. It's not medium, it's coarse grind. It's got plenty enough. Look at it, it's just sat on the table here all in, you know. There's little, look, you get an idea there. Can you see that? Can you see it, what it's like, the grind? Absolute delight. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. You gotta try it. Give it a go. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your likes, subscribes, all of that stuff. Much appreciated. And uh, yeah, hopefully next time I review something, I'll be feeling a bit better and a bit uh, a bit more lively. But for now, that's it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Chin chin.